What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great day of tech news for you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Our first story is about the OnePlus Fold Open or OnePlus Open Fold, whatever you want to call it. Or OnePlus Open. It's a folding phone from OnePlus. It was supposed to be launched at the end of this month. Now it's talking to be end, uh, launched at the end of September and then most likely released sometime in October. And there's some new renders coming out, some more updated renders. And we've seen, this is our third set of renders that we're seeing for this phone then, since they've changed. And it's coming from the same person. It's got a very reliable track record known as OnLeaks. And he's saying that today I'm back with updated renders, which has been based on the pre-production unit pictures. Therefore, this is a this is the best and most comprehensive look at OnePlus's first foldable phone. And I'll be honest with you, since the change of <clears throat> last week's renders, this one hasn't really changed much, at least from what I can see. Um, in, in a general sense, from the original ones, the big changes are there's uh, been changes in the aspect ratio so it's going to look uh, it'll, it'll be a little bit more in aspect ratio like the pixel fold versus the z fold 5 so if you hate the pixel fold it's going to be more like that but i don't think is if, if you look at what we can see it doesn't look completely like that it almost looks like a normal phone on the outside <clears throat> the frame design now has a rounded profile on the hinge side and it adds style and ergonomic functionality and also the OnePlus Open has a flat outer frame. Speakers have been adjusted for better audio by shifting the top and bottom speaker positions, camera module update and new sensor. So the cameras now have a new sensor, which is a time of flight or LiDAR sensor is located beneath the H branding. Shifting the selfie camera, it's been shifted all the way over now. Other design highlights are they have brought back the alert slider and power button with a fingerprint sensor is now there. Uh, 6.3 inch outside display, 7.8 inch inside display, 120 Hertz on both, 16 gigs of RAM inside, 256 gigs of storage, 67 watt fast charging and a 4,800 milliamp battery. It just looks like a bad, bad phone in a good way, obviously. I don't mean a bad phone, but like a bad phone, bad, awesome phone. So very excited about this still. Um, again, the renders don't look that much different from the last renders we've seen, I wholeheartedly admit. If you notice something different from what they look like versus now, let me know. But yeah, it's still, to me, it looks like it looks like iPhone designed it, which isn't a bad thing. It looks like if iPhone came out with a folding phone, this is what I feel like it would look like. Uh, what do you think it looks like? Let me know in the comments down below. We've got people that love and hate the folding phones and the flip phones, but what about rollable phones? We've been talking about these phones for years now. When are these due to come out? Well, the latest information is that they're due to come out pretty freaking soon. So this information coming from Revegnas, who's saying Samsung plans to start mass producing rollable smartphones in 2025 with improved under panel camera equipped with zero bezel, their rollable flex phone. Um, I don't know, we'll see how this rolls out, <laughs> no pun intended, like how it, how it comes out and how it, how it is as a phone. Is it gonna be too slow when it rolls out or unwinds? Is it, you know, it, it, that's all to be considered. Is it gonna be a great phone overall? I would assume they're probably gonna dumb down the camera and some of those things like they do on the folding phones currently. I would assume the first couple iterations of this are gonna be very expensive. Um, but we'll see, 2025 is only two years away at this point. And our last story of the day is Samsung is coming out with a special edition Galaxy Z Fold 5. They're coming out with the Tom Brown edition. This is official. They've put a tweet out saying that you can take a seat at the Tom Brown table for a celebration of new experience in design and innovation. Tom Brown and they show Galaxy Z Fold 5 opening up. And if you don't remember what the Tom Brown editions somewhat look like, this is somewhat what they look like. It's usually a whole package where you get a charger, a case, earbuds, a watch, watch straps, cases, the phone, all of it is decked out in Tom Brown colors and things like that. So this should be coming out very, very soon. I probably won't pick it up, but let me know about you guys. Your question of the day is, what do you want to, what would you want more? A, a, a better folding phone or a better, rollable phone let me know in the comments down below have a great day and we'll see you down the road